welcome to FIT. All right, we are going to do a Matt Pilates um, interval workout, cardio, and Matt Pilates. All right, here we go. We'll get started. We're going to start with um, just a deep breath. Hip, stand hip distance apart, shoulders down. Take a nice big inhale through your nose. Reach the arms up. Draw the shoulder blades down. And exhale through the mouth. Blow all that stale air out. Good. Let's do that again. Shoulder blades down. Exhale. Inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Hold it here. We're going to do some standing uh, knee circles, leg circles, but with a bent leg. So hands to the hips. We're going to take our right knee up in front and then circle it out and around and down. You can tap the floor or just hold it at a hover, challenging your balance. As you bring the knee up, you want to exhale and bring it out and around and down. Two more. Last one, reverse that circle, out and around, forward and down, out and around, forward and down. Keep growing taller, reaching through the crown of the head, belly button to spine, two more, and last one. Good, set that foot down, lift the other left leg up, out and around and down. Nice and tall. Shoulders down. Good. Last one here. And reverse your circle. Out and around, forward and down. Good. Make sure you're not sinking into the hip on this right side. You're standing nice and tall. Good. One more. And all the way down. Let's take it out wide. Those hips should be a little warmed up just a bit. And we're going to take it out wide and just pulse into this. Just opening up the hips a little bit more, pressing out on the knees. Good. Hands to the top of the legs. And we're going to reach up and over and down and up and over. Lift the heel as you reach, pushing through the floor. And reach. Good. Three. And two. Last one, we're going to take it forward and have a little rotation. So forward and rotate. So rotating through the hip, turning the leg. So turn and turn. Good. Two more each side. And then we'll hold it center one more. Hold it center. Hold it here. You're going to hinge forward and round the spine up. Inhale to hinge and exhale. Scoop those abs and round all the way up. Good. Nice and wide. Hinge and round it up. Good. One more. And all the way up. Excellent job. All right, let's take it down to the mat. We'll start with some articulating bridges, move into some abs, and then get moving with our cardio. So roll all the way down, hip distance apart with the feet, heels really close to the glutes, arms long and heavy. Take your inhale as you exhale, scoop the abs, tilt the pelvis, squeeze the glutes all the way to your top range. Pause at the top, take your inhale, exhale, round it down. Good, and again. Use your breath here. Exhale, scoops the abs, squeeze the glutes, pick the hips up, pause at the top, take your inhale. Use that exhale to engage the abs to roll down one bone at a time, melting your spine into the mat. Good, and again. Arms are real close under the body, close to the sides of the body. Good. Three more. Two. 
two more. Hold this one up. So all the way to your top range. Pause at the top and hold. Good. Bring the knees out, but don't lower the hips and then bring them in. Squeeze the inner thighs. Press out and squeeze it in. Press out, squeeze in. Activating outer thigh and then inner thigh. Press it out, squeeze it in. Pull everything up and in when you squeeze in. Think inner thigh, pelvic floor, glutes, abs, and in. Good, two more. Out and in. Good, last one. And in, hold it here, pulse it up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one. Take your inhale, exhale, round all the way down. Bring knee, the knees in just for a little stretch. Rock side to side. All right, set the legs back down. We're going to roll up into hundreds and then bring the legs up one at a time. Take your inhale here and exhale, round it up. Arms are real close to the to the floor, to your mat, hovering, and you can pump them. Squeeze the legs together. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale. Bring one leg to tabletop. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale. Bring the other leg to tabletop. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale. You can straighten the legs up to the ceiling or hold them in tabletop or set them back down. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale. Lower the legs. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale. Lower a little bit more. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale. Two more. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale. Good. Round everything down. Bring the knees in. Set the legs down. We're going to start with some uh, toe taps. All right. So bring the right leg up and then back down. Stay on the right. It's up. And down. Legs are squeezing together, pulling from the inner thigh as well as the abs. Last one on the right, and then set it down. Left leg up, and down, up, and down. Good. Exhale, lift. Legs close together. Last one, hold the left, bring the right up to meet it. Double legs, down and up. Toes don't have to go quite all the way to the floor. You want to imprint or press your low back into the floor as you bring the legs back up. Squeeze those legs together. Good. Down and up. Last one. Hold the legs in tabletop and alternate right and left. Right and left. Good, right and left. Nice strong tabletop. Make sure the one leg gets all the way to the top before you drop the other one. Alternating, but with control. Good, one more each side. And left. And bring the knees in. Hold behind the legs and roll yourself up. And then come to your forearms or your hands nice and wide. Chest open. We're going to bring those legs together, toes to the mat, heels lifted, and then you're going to go side, center, side, center. If you want to up level, you can bring those legs, ankles, to a hover. And then it's side, center. You can keep the feet on the mat or elevated. So working through the side body here, shoulders down, neck long, chest open, knees and ankles stay glued together, opposite hip is coming up. Good. One more each side and left. Good. And then all the way up, extend the legs out in front for a hamstring stretch and spine stretch forward. Arms reaching out in front. Take a nice big inhale, sit up nice and tall, and then exhale, scoop the abs and round forward, reaching over the top of the toes. Inhale, restack the spine. Exhale, scoop the abs, 
reach it forward and restack. Two more. Scoop, reach. You should be reaching a little bit further every time. Last one. Scoop, reach, and restack the spine. Good. All the way up. All right, we'll start our first cardio segment. Weights if you want them or have them. We're going to start with T arms and a squat on the move. So it's going to look like this. You'll squat down, up, squat, move, down, up, T arms. We're just going to hold the arm in the direction that we're moving. Second exercise is plank spider man, no plank jacks, I'm sorry, plank jacks out and in with the legs. You can do one at a time, right and left would be the modification or hop them out and in or just hold. You can always just hold your plank. And then the third exercise is, excuse me while I look at my notes, knee up with a hop, sorry, knee up with a hop. We're going to go all right and then all left. We're just going to do these bicep almost swing but with control. Knee up, step, step, knee up, step, step. Alright, so squats, here we go. Five seconds for my timer to get all the way up to 12. And here we go. Squat, out, out, down, up. Squat, out, out, down, up. Squat. You can hold it. If that doesn't work, you can do both arms, holding. Make those lateral movements big. So really increase. That step, once you get the coordination, and up one more, about 30 seconds here, down and up. All right, plank jacks, down on your mat, up in your plank, good, find it, and jacks, out and in, or alternate, nice and strong in the upper back, abs pulled in. Squeeze the back of the legs. You can do this on your forearms. Halfway there. Five seconds. Last one. Hop it in and up. Knee up, hop. Grab those weights. We've got three, two, go right and Right leg, knee up, hop, step, 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 just the right, you want to make the arms a little bigger, you can straighten them out, you can even lift a little higher, heavier weights, nothing overhead, five seconds and then we'll switch legs. Good switch, left knee. Right arm goes forward as the knee comes up. Make the arms look smaller, make that hop bigger, or just step. Step knee up, no hop. 10 seconds. Five, nice big hop. And last one. All right, 10 second break and we'll do that again. Two more times through, three sets total. Squat with a raise, here we go. Squat, step, step, up, step, step, up. Make it big, if you have room. Ten seconds. Challenging the obliques with this one arm. Good. Last time, we're going to go both ways and this way. All right, plank jacks. Down in your plank. Forearms or hands. Find it and out and in. Alternate. Just hold. Take it faster. Abs pulled in, strong back of the legs. 
Shoulders over wrists. Almost there. Five seconds. And stop. Hop it in. Knee up. Right leg. In three, two, go. Big hop. Drive that knee up. Or no hop. A little bit more with the knee. Maybe a little bit more with the arms. Halfway there. 10 seconds. Getting warm. Three. Last one, switch legs, left leg. Right arm goes forward. It's that oppositional little swing. Breathing hard. Already. Halfway there. We got one more round with this set. Five seconds. Two more. And last one. Excellent job. All right. Ten seconds off. Three squats. Two. And go. Out. Out. Down. Up. Move big. If you have room. Good. Five seconds. We'll go one more each side. Last time this way. All right. Weights down. Plank. Last plank jack. And go. Strong plank first. Hold. Or one leg at a time. Or hops. Abs pulled in. Ten seconds. Five. And stop. Hop in. Grab those weights. Knee up. Right leg lead. In three, two, go. Left arm. Right knee. Nice big hop. You could move these hops if you have room. Coming forward and back. Nice and big with that knee up. You can swing the arms and bend. Five seconds here. Last one. Switch, left leg lead. Here we go. Round one will be done in 15 seconds. And then two more to go. And then your cardio will be done for the day. Five seconds. Good last one. Whew, and stop. All right, set those weights down. Get some water. We'll give it a minute to let the heart rate come down. Here on my arm. Whew. Walk around, catch your breath, get some water, and then we're going to take it to the mat. Good, about 15 seconds here. all the way down to the mat. We're going to do some crunches. Our legs are going to be in that diamond position. So think butterfly, soles of the feet together, 
knees out wide, and then take it all the way down. Hands behind the nape of the neck, elbows in your peripheral. Soles of the feet together, legs wide, open up the hips. From here, we're just gonna lift. Exhale, lift the chest, and then lower. Try not to pull on the back of the neck. Good, lift, and lower. Good, four, and three, and two. Hold it up, pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, lower it down. We're gonna lift the chest and the right leg only. So we'll stay on the right, right leg comes up, still in that diamond position, and the chest comes up. So it's lift and lower, lift and lower. Chest going straight up, five, four, three, two, hold it here, rotate to the right shoulder to left shoulder to right knee and center. Chest is up, holding it up and rotating and up, rotate and up, rotate, center, stay lifted, three more, we'll hold that rotation in two and pulse right here, hold it and pulse from the chest, the leg is not moving, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and lower everything down. Same thing, left side. Left leg comes up, chest comes up, and lower it down, and down. Six, five, three, holding up in two, hold it up, rotate, shoulder towards knee. Rotation from the upper body. Leg stays still. Good. Four. Three. Two. Hold the rotation and pulse. Shoulder towards knee. Rib cage towards knee. Four. Three. Two. One. And lower it all the way down. All right. Stay in that diamond. Uh, position with the legs and thumbs under glutes. We're going to lift and lower. Exhale, lift and inhale, lower. Good. Press that low back into the mat as you lift the legs. We've got four more. And three, and two, and last one. Good, bring the legs together, hands behind the knees, and roll yourself up. All right, more cardio. Front lunge, alternating, right and left. Uh, plie with a punch, so that plie squat with a punch, front lunge, front and front alternating. Plie with the punch wide and punching and just holding that as low as you can and maybe I'll change it up uh, as we go through the rounds and then up and over with an overhead press. So you can add a little hop with no overhead press. Maybe just hold or up and over here. All right, front lunge in three, two, one. Add some arms here whatever you like, alternate right and left. Make sure you're stepping out far enough so that your knee is not going past your toes. The back leg, the knee is going straight down and the front knee again, not going past the toes. Five seconds. You just hold the weights if you like. Good, one more right and left. And left. Good, wide stance. Sink it down, hands here, and punch. Good, little rotation 
You can stay deep. You can come up a little bit. Good, just punching right and left. Not locking out at the elbow. So just keeping that arm just a little bit bent in that punch. Abs pulled in. Five seconds. Stay low. Three, two, and one. Good. Up and over. Here we go. Hop. Overhead press. Or just hold. Hop in the middle. Add it if you like, especially if you have the lighter weights. With heavier weights, you might want, want to hop with the overhead press. 10 seconds. Last one to the left. And stop. Good. Five seconds off or 10 seconds off. We'll do it all over again. Front lunge alternating. In three, two, go. You can swing one arm, alternate the arms, bring it in a little closer, really squeeze. If you're bending the arm, the bicep, or lift, a little harder. Good, about 10 seconds here. And then plie with a punch. Offer a little change here. One more right and left. And left. Good, nice wide stance. All right, hands in. And then we're gonna go punch. And we're gonna come in and out of this plie. So down and up. And down and up. If you don't like this, hold the plie. Trying to get that rotation and work the obliques. And just trying to move and make it a little different. Good, last time, down and up. And up, all right, up and over. Here we go, up. A little hop or just step. Lots of variations, modifications, what works for you. Good, about 10 seconds. And then one more round. Last five. Let's do it one more time. Side and side. All right, 10 second break. Front lunges alternating in five. And go. Right and left. Alternate the arms. It's the opposite arm if you're alternating. For both arms, a little more challenging. This is the last round if you want to make it a little more challenging. Last round for this set. We have one more set of cardio. Excellent. One more right and left. And here you go. All right, plies. We're gonna hold him again, and we're gonna punch down, middle, and up. So down, middle, up, middle. Down, middle, up, middle, middle. Good, just keep it moving. Stay low. Good, one more, and down. Excellent, up and over, and go. Up and over, little hop, little skip, lateral movement, side to side. seconds. One more time both ways. 
and back and down. Woo! Set the waist down, get some water, catch your breath. We'll take it back to the mat. Sweaty today. All right, catch your breath still, we have some time. We're gonna do a plank series. We'll start in forward plank. And I'm just gonna keep building for about two minutes. If you need to take breaks, you can take breaks. And then we're gonna pause. We're gonna face the other way, or I'm gonna face the other way, because the side plank is then gonna face the other way. So two, two minute planks. Take a break if you need it, and then come back and join. We're gonna hold, we're gonna Spider-Man, we're gonna pike, and we're gonna side plank. All right, starting with our hold, five more seconds, forearms or hands, plank and hold. So 30 seconds here, and then I'll change it. Nice and strong. Abs pulled in, squeeze through the back of the legs. Hips are up. We've got 10 seconds here if you want to take a little break. And then we're going to go into those Spider-Man. Knee to elbow. Same knee, same elbow right here and then out, alternate. You can tap the floor or keep it lifted. Strong in the upper back. Take these slow. Good five seconds here, one more each side. Then we're gonna go into pikes. Good, hold it here, and pike. And back to plank, and pike. And plank, and pike, and plank. Halfway there with the pikes. And plank, and pike. Five seconds, we're gonna rotate to a side plank. Good, hold your plank and rotate. We're gonna hold, hand here or here. You can come down to your forearm if you like. Lift, hips lifted. We're almost there, you got 15 seconds. And that was a two minute plank series. 10 seconds, hips lifted. Pull them up if you like. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. Rotate center and come down and sit back. We're going to do that again. I'm going to turn around so I can side plank this way. Same series. Hold, Spider-Man, hike, side plank. All right, ten more seconds here. You can come down on your forearms if you like. Three, right leg back. Left leg back, hold. 30 second hold. Nice and strong, press through the floor, squeeze the back of the legs. Don't let those hips drop, keep them up. That's 15 seconds. 15 more and we'll do the Spider-Man. Five seconds here, if you want a little break and Spider-Man. Elbow to knee, same side. Take them slow, squeeze that side body. Tap the floor or keep the leg up. Makes it harder. 10 seconds here. Break if you need it. If you're losing your form, Feel it in your low back. Take a break. Good, pike. And plank. You may have shifted a little bit. Make sure your shoulders are over your wrists. 
Nice big pike. Look at your toes. Drop your head. Good. Five seconds. And then we'll side plank. One more pike. Out to your plank. <clears throat> Rotate. I'm going to come down to my forearm on this side. And hold. Arm reaching. 15 seconds. 10. Pulse the hips up if you like. Hand can be here or here for balance. 5, 3, and 1. Good center. Knees down. And push all the way back. Excellent job. Alright, tuck the knees under and roll yourself up. Last set of cardio. We're going to do repeater, push-ups in a kneeling position, and butt kickers. So the push-ups in the kneeling position quadruped, and you're reaching forward with those push-ups. When we get there, I'll explain it a little bit more. Repeater, we'll do right, a little turn out, and then we'll do left. All right, here we go in five, three, two, Little turn out and hands to the knee, abs pulled in. Take these faster, switch the arms, runner's arms, or tap. Whatever you like. Halfway there. Abs pulled in. 10 seconds, and then we'll switch legs. Last five, three, and switch. Coordination, switch the arms. A little more like running, a little turnout. Strong arms. Good, halfway there. Nice and strong in this supporting leg. It's a little bent. Five seconds here, and then push ups. Two and one. Good, all fours. Tricep push-ups. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, and then you're going to bend the elbows and forward. You do not have to come all the way down to the mat with your nose. But you're going forward of your shoulders. Elbows stay tucked in close to the body. Abs are pulled in. Good, we've got about 10 seconds. Five seconds. Good, last one. All right, butt kickers. You can alternate and side to side or kick it up and go. Abs pulled in. Try and get that heel to your glute, again here, side to side wide, or run it out. Halfway there. Abs pulled in nice and strong here. Hamstrings and glutes, five seconds. Three, two, and one. Good, 10 second break. We'll start again with repeater. In five, four, two, right leg, go. If you like this better, go a little faster. Kind of turned out a little bit. About 10 seconds. Five. And switch. Left leg up. Drive that knee up. Really strong arms. Halfway there on the side. Belly 
Lean back in the spine. Using your abs to lift that leg. Three. And stop. All fours. Same push-ups. If you'd rather do these in that kneeling plank, legs cross, you can. Or, this is harder, all fours and reaching forward. Again, you don't have to come all the way down to the mat. You can just lower a few inches and then back up. Abs pulled in, nice and strong here. You got about five seconds. Let's do one more. Good, all the way up. Butt kickers in three, two, and go. Run it. You're a little bit wider than hip distance. And if you're not hopping, you're a lot wider. Halfway there. Come on, nice and strong. One more round through. After this. Five seconds. And stop. All right, last round. Repeater on the right in five, three, and go. I kind of like these arms. I can go a little faster. Or here. Makes it slows you down just a bit. Nice and strong here. Halfway there. Ten seconds. Five. Last one, left leg, and go. Good, this is our last round of cardio. Make it count. About halfway there. One more set of push-ups after this. 10 seconds. Last five. And last one. Excellent, all fours or kneeling plank, your choice. And go. Knees under hips, hands under shoulders. If you are tired, just go halfway down. Keep those elbows in close. Elbows are pointed towards your knees behind you. Good, we got about two more. If you've got it, last one, make it count. And all the way up. Last 30 seconds, butt kickers and go. Wide or hop. Heel to glute, squeeze that hamstring, squeeze the glutes. 15 seconds, you can make it. All right, here we go. Last five. Two and one. Whoo! All right, catch your breath. Get some water. And then we'll take it back down to the mat. Do some back work, and then we'll do some stretching. We're gonna go back to that four point kneeling and work the back side. Knees under hips, hands under shoulders, Take that right leg out and then bring it back in just to a hover. Go for length here and back in. Lengthen. Good, three more. Lengthen. 
lengthen. Neck is neutral. Good. Add the arm. Left arm reaches. Lengthen. Bring it in. Hover. Lengthen. Hover. Good. Four more. And hover. And three. And hover. And two. Hold this one. Hold it. Bring it down the arm and the leg. Tap the floor and lift. Tap and lift. Lengthen. Lift. Four more. Four. Three. We're going to hold in two. Two. Good. Last one. Hold. Just reach and hold. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good. Bring it down. Sit it back. Good. All fours. Same thing, other side. Just the leg. Left leg. Lengthen. And down. Good. Knee just comes to a hover. Really straighten that leg. Squeeze the back of the leg. Glutes. Belly button to spine. Good. Two more. And then we'll add the arm. Two. Good. Last one, just the leg. Good. Add the arm. Reach. And down. And reach. And down. Just to a hover if you can. Reach. And down. Really lengthen arm and leg. Try not to pop the head up. Good. Three more. Two more. Hold this one. Up, drop it down to the mat and up. Arm and leg. Down and up. Four more. And up. Watch that shoulder staying over the wrist on the left. Good. Two more. Hold this one up. Hold it here. Five. Three. And bring it all the way down. Sit it all the way back. Excellent job. All the way down on your stomach for extension. Legs out about hip width. Hands a little bit wider than the shoulders. Take your inhale and exhale. Press up. Keeping those legs engaged. Keeping the pelvic and pubic bones into the mat. Lower it back down. Good. And again. Shoulders down, chest open, and down. Good, two more. Two. And last one. Really scoop those abs, open the chest, drop the shoulders, and all the way down. One cheek to the mat, reach back and grab both ankles. Heels to glutes, quad stretch. If you want, you can lift the chest here. Press the top of your feet if you're lifting into your hands. So that will give you an extra stretch. And then lower it down. Good. Exhale, lift. Lift the chest. Press the hands into the feet, or the feet into the hands. One more time. Are off the mat, squeeze the glutes, belly button to spine, and bring it all the way down. Legs go out wide, and then push yourself all the way back. Right, sit your bottom through your legs, drop your head to the mat, and reach the arms forward. All right, come on up to your butterfly sit, soles of the feet together. Knees out wide, nice and tall. A couple of deep breaths here. Come into your mermaid sit, bending one leg, keeping the other one in the figure four. We're gonna go up and over, bend down to the mat, reach. Keep looking forward so that your ear is tucked by your bicep and you're not turning your head. Good, one more time. 
reach out on the diagonal, give that upper back a stretch, rotate back to center, all the way up over the side, reach out on the diagonal, back to center, and all the way up, switch the legs. One arm reaching, shoulder down, one hand on the mat, reaching up and over, keep looking forward, and up and over. Stay lifted in this side body here, but stretching through the side. Good, hold this one. Reach out in the diagonal, looking down towards the mat. Rotate back to center, and up and over this way. And rotate, and center, and all the way up. All right, let's take it up to um, standing roll up. So up on your feet. Stay here with your hands on the floor and then straighten the legs and drop your head. Hands to the floor. I hope you didn't just hear my knees just crack. The audio is not that good so you probably didn't. All right, take your inhale and we're going to exhale, roll all the way up, pulling belly button to spine, keeping that head and the arms as low as long as you can. Inhale it, reach it up, and exhale, bring it down. All right, and we are done for today. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe.